like, is the bond going to ball here? Because I'll just put it here. I have something written, but I'll... Uh, you want to leave it? No, I'll carry it. It's okay. easier if I carry That's it. That's fine. Hi. Hi.
hold it until it says power off. like a mute button or
it for you, so that way they're... I may or may not wear them, you know why? I'm not used to wearing them, so they're good for reading, yeah. which is helpful, but when I look up, total blur, so it's like, I I, I'm not used to... Uh,
Paul, how are you? I'm, well, how are I'm you? Dr. Beth. Dad, that's exactly what I do. Oh, back there. Oh, there Yes, ma'am.
Good morning, and welcome to the Cathedral of St. Patrick and the graduation celebration of the Cardinal Hayes High School Class of 2022. As we begin our ceremony today, we ask that you be mindful in every way that we are in this house of God, this magnificent cathedral, and to comport ourselves accordingly. As we begin our commencement exercises, we ask you to please stand and welcome our graduates, the class of 2022, as they are led up the aisle by Mr. Howard Ciarcia, who is retiring after 33 years of service in education, including 32 years here at Cardinal Hayes High School.
At this time, we ask you to kindly welcome the 70th, 60th, 50th, and 25th anniversary alumni classes of Cardinal Hayes High School, the graduating classes of 1952, 62, 72, and 1997. We also welcome the members of the 1977 celebrating their 45th anniversary. At this time, we ask that you welcome the esteemed faculty of Cardinal Hayes High School, who are being led by Mr. and Mrs. Benito Feliciano, 2022 Distinguished Faculty Award winners. At this time, we ask you to welcome the administration of Cardinal Hayes High School. Chief Administrator Officer, Mr. Winston Van Butenen. Vice President of Development, Ms. Nancy Rhodes. Assistant Principals, Mr. Craig Joseph and Ms. Susan Frawley. Dean of Discipline, Mr. Rudy Turnbull and Director of School Safety, Mr. Douglas Cooper. At this time, please welcome the principal of Cardinal Hayes High School, Mr. William D. Lessa. At this time, please welcome the president of Cardinal Hayes High School, Dr. Michael Carey. Please welcome our school chaplain, Father Stephen Gonzalez, and our presider at the graduation ceremony, His Most Reverend Excellency Joseph Espiak. Auxiliary Bishop for the Archdiocese of New York.
kindly join our leader of song, Ms. Heather Hall, and the graduates in our opening hymn, Blessed Assurance, which can be found in your graduation program. At the conclusion of our opening hymn, please remain standing for our national anthem and our opening prayer.
In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, good and gracious God, our Good Shepherd, we ask you to illumine our hearts and our minds this day with your Holy Spirit. We ask for your almighty hand to be upon these graduates as we gather here today to celebrate this step forward into their soon approaching futures. Let us not forget the blessings that followed behind us, for Cardinal Hayes High School has given us a safe place to learn and a strong foundation to build upon as we take this next step into your world. We thank you, good and gracious God, for our teachers who have so richly loved and cared for us, even at our worst, but most especially as we have been coming out of this pandemic. And we thank you for our families who have cheered us on to the finish line and stood by our sides through the many bumps in the road. And on this day, Father, especially we thank you for the friends that we have found among our classmates, for all the jokes that we will laugh about in the years to come, for the hardships and the tears that we have endured together side by side, and for your love, which has been made evident through the relationships that we will carry with us beyond these walls. Help us to be holy men and women who laid down our lives for each other, just as you gave up your life for each of us. We ask you, let us love each other fearlessly and seek your will earnestly all the days of our lives. And we pray this in the most powerful name, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. At this time, here to introduce the 2022 salutatorian is the chairperson of the science department, Brother Robert Chuli. Good morning. I think I speak for every teacher at Cardinal Hayes High School that for this entire year, that whenever we saw our salutatorian, Joshua Akwaning, coming towards us at the beginning of a school day, we would cringe and we'd be filled with annoyance and aggravation. I have to say that sometimes when I saw Joshua walk towards me in the hallway in the morning, I would even deliberately walk in the opposite direction. Now, I don't want to give the impression that Joshua is not a very likable or affable young man or that there's anything wrong with him. It's just that he had the very unpleasant task of delivering the substitute assignments to the teachers in the morning. So this meant as a teacher that your precious planning period was going to be sacrificed to cover the class of an absent colleague. What was noticeable about the way that Joshua carried out his duty is that he did not let the cool reception he would receive from each teacher bother him at all. He would do his task with a smile on his face and be somewhat apologetic about being the bearer of un unwelcome news. This says a lot about the person who Joshua Akawaning is, someone who's not afraid to take on difficult tasks and who is willing to help out whenever he can. I had the pleasure of teaching Joshua twice, once in honors chemistry and again in AP chemistry. In both classes, Joshua was a diligent, serious, and inquisitive student. Much of our time together took place during the pandemic. And while learning any subject remotely is difficult, I think chemistry with all of its formulas and equations is particularly challenging. But Joshua is one of the few students who I could count on to be engaged during our remote classes. He kept his camera on and actually answered questions when asked. I remember at the end of Honors Chemistry, Joshua asked me several times what he should do to prepare for next year's AP Chemistry. What review book should he buy? What topics should he review? I was impressed that Joshua was so forward thinking that he really wanted to do whatever he could to be successful 
in what he knew could be a difficult class. One of Cardinal Hayes's most famous alumni, Regis Philbin, once addressed our students and said that he wished when he was a student at Cardinal Hayes, he would have been more involved, joined more clubs, been more a part of the school community. I think that Joshua must have heard Mr. Philbin when he said this, because Joshua was a very involved student. He was a member of our National Honor Society, a key player in our champion soccer, championship soccer team, occasional member of the track team, and one of our president's men. Joshua is not someone who just cares about academics. He wants to grow as a person, to try new things and challenge himself in new ways, and to become more fully a part of the brotherhood that is Cardinal Hayes. Joshua is the kind of young man that we strive to form at Cardinal Hayes, a man of character, a man of intellect, and a man of faith. And Cardinal Hayes has been enriched by his presence for the past four years. Ladies and gentlemen, class of 2022, I present to you your salutatorian, Joshua Akwaning. Good morning, Bishop Espiat, Presidents Carey, Principal Lessa, faculty and staff, parents and loved ones, and most importantly, you, graduates. Welcome to the graduation of the class of 22. As we are here to honor this momentous occasion, I would also like to recognize the attendance of the Hayes alumni from the classes of 1952, 1962, 1972, and 1997. Our years of walking through the Hayes halls are over. The people we have been so accustomed to seeing every day will slowly fade from our memories. But on the bright side, Jug will not strike fear in our hearts any longer. Although we will leave much of what we loved so dearly from this institution, the intangible aspects of Hayes will never leave us, being our compass to navigate through this life and that great light to shine through the darkest of times. Freshman year, we think we have all the time in the world as we make new friends, join various extracurricular activities, and play sports. We march through these large halls, getting lost for the first time. And then eventually, as we get lost so many times, we are bound to land at a specific place that piques our interest. The Duff, the Guidance Lounge, the Auditorium, the transition from middle school to high school was brutal. However, the support from teachers and administration and parents gave us the support we most desperately needed. Speaking of the teachers and administration, our relationship is complex. You are the only people we can harbor both love and hate for at the same time. We love you for being our passionate advocates and our number one fans when we ace a test or show our dominance on the field, track, or court. And then we go back to disliking you when you decide not to give us extra credit. Mr. Feliciano. <laughs> Regardless of us perceiving you as the unfair, relentless villain, let that not take away the fact that we would not be here without you. From Mr. G, the person who does all that he can, to Mr. Sarcone, the unconventional educating teacher. To Mr. McCreary's, I believe in you, though we still failed on the test. To Ms. McNamara, still not knowing my name. To Mr. Joseph, his belief in those who do not have faith in themselves. And finally, to Mr. Lessa, going above and beyond his duty as principal 
and being truly invested in our daily experiences as Hay students. I thank you all. So even though we may not agree on all aspects concerning Hayes, you were the force that kept us going and those who challenged us to develop a mind filled with curiosity. Parents and guardians, words cannot describe how much love we hold for you all, most of the time. From our first steps to our first words to now seeing us in our black caps and gowns, you have experienced every step with us. Your love gives us the confidence to press forward in the future. So graduates, let us turn to our parents, singling them out in the crowd, and also give them a round of applause. Congrats, parents. Your son has probably become as smart or smarter than you. And he will not only challenge everything you have said, are saying, and will say in the future, but he will change the world. You may think I'm giving you a naive, false sense of hope, but I'm not. I'm making a promise to you all because I've seen firsthand what my classmates are capable of. I only ask for you to help us a little longer, and I'm sure that our future successes will have made it worth it. As I am more than halfway done with this speech, it would make the most sense to discuss the halfway mark of our high school career, sophomore year, when everything took a drastic turn. School was closed. Our once decorated classrooms became minuscule tiles on a Google Meet. We were now farther away from those we loved the most. The engaging, captivating in-person debates were non-existent. The awkward, slightly uncomfortable teaching on Google Meet made learning exponentially harder. However, through what we perceive to be insurmountable difficulties, we have pushed forward. I realize now that the reason for our successes over the past four years is that we are able to see failure not only as a stumble or a setback, but as a great teacher. Beyond Hayes lie challenges that have not been solved and continue to plague our society every day. Global warming, achieving international peace, brother truly. And it is up to us to continue where others have begun. I cannot imagine the difficulties that you will have to face, but I am confident that all the experiences at Hayes have made you fully equipped to tackle any challenge that will come your way. So now senior year is behind us and the world is in front of us. We have learned much, however, Hayes has not taught us everything. How do I make my life meaningful? How do I positively affect those around me? These questions we must answer for ourselves. So as we continue to celebrate our achievements, I leave you with this. Remember to work hard because so many are depending on us. For the parents we love so much, for our little brothers and sisters looking up to us, for a brighter future, for Hayes, for God and country, up Hayes. Thank you, Joshua, for your kind introductory words. At this time, I would like to introduce Dr. Michael Carey, president of Cardinal Hayes High School. Good morning. Thank you, Santiago. Joshua, that was awesome. I could not do that at 18 years old. We'll see if I can do it in middle age. But 18, I definitely could not do that. That was amazing. Great, great job. I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of the class of 2022. Um, Your Excellency, Most Reverend Espiat, Father Gonzalez, Principal Lessa, members of the Board of Trustees, classes of 1962, 72, 1997, and all alumni of Cardinal Hayes, faculty and administration of Cardinal Hayes High School, 
former faculty who I saw a few this morning, um, high school, uh, former faculty of Cardinal Hayes High School, parents, guardians, and families of the class of 2022, and most importantly, the members of the class of 2022, welcome, congratulations. It takes a village, it really takes a village, just in the introduction and then some, and it really does take a large group to get to an event like this. It's so great to see everyone here after two very, very difficult, very disjointed years. Congratulations to the graduates and to their families. One of the Psalms I think of on occasions like this, for some reason it's been ringing in my head and I figured I would share it. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Graduates, today you enter one of the great alumni groups in this country. That is no small achievement. You, you deserve to congratulate yourselves for that. As I started my tenure at Cardinals Hayes High School two years ago, when I thought about Hayes, the word that consistently came to my mind from my perspective was a school founded upon discipline. I still see that as the cornerstone of the Hayes, of the Hayes education, the Hayes secret sauce, I call it, as it were. And even in talking with alums, Many of the questions revolve around issues relating to discipline. Do you still do jug? Do you still have the jug room? All things associated with the structure and the discipline of Cardinal Hayes. The answer is yes, we do. I've also heard a number of accounts of the famous Brother Jablonski and his unique disciplinary style. There are times where I feel like I've met the man. Over these past two years, though, I've come to observe another trait just as important which is really a part of the essence of the Hayes way also, which is resilience. The students have heard me say on many occasions, the trick to success is not to never get knocked down. As sure as we are sitting in this great cathedral, we will all be knocked down at some point by life. We know that the trick to success is to get back up. The trademark of the Hayesmen is to get back up on your feet. We're expected to act with resilience and discipline, to delay gratification, to live with the uncomfortable, to keep our eye on our long-term goals, to exhibit the grit imparted to all Hayesmen. And when necessary, we are expected to ask for help. We're expected to accept help, and we certainly are expected to offer help as the situation calls for. Those are the traits of the Hayesmen. I can give an example of resilience in the person of Patrick Cardinal Hayes himself, the man for whom now your alma mater is named. It is sometimes more difficult to relate to, to people who've gone long before us. He passed away in 1938. He rests below this, uh, below, the crypt is below this tabernacle. And he rests there as I speak. But I can tell you this, Cardinal Hayes High School is aptly named. Patrick Hayes was raised in the inner city, in the inner city of New York, in a neighborhood as tough and as violent as any neighborhood has seen in New York's history. He was born and raised in the Five Points, just a few miles south of here. He, like many of us, like myself, was the son of immigrants. After losing his mom as a young teen, he was forced to live with his aunt and his uncle. He worked in their grocery store, the bodega as it were. And he had a younger brother and a younger half-sister who he also had to care for. I think all real challenges that many of us can relate to. Patrick Hayes was resilient, though. He took advantage of the great equalizer in education. That's what we're here to do today. But not any old education. Patrick Hayes received a New York City Catholic school education. He attended LaSalle Academy down on 2nd Street. He then went to Manhattan College, which at that time was in the borough of Manhattan. It's now in the Bronx, our beautiful borough, before making his decision to head to the seminary. Patrick Cardinal Hayes' life was about God, responsible citizenship, and providing a helping hand to those in need. As the Archbishop of New York, he was the driving force behind Catholic charities, which still exists for New Yorkers in need to this very day. Patrick Cardinal Hayes understood that resilience sometimes requires a helping hand. To whom much is given, much is expected. I can see dozens of examples sitting in front of me today of people who live these ideals 
and quote, pay it forward. They're sitting right in front of me, and I'll start with the Board of Trustees, with their generosity and with their time, with our alumni, with all our friends, with our parents and the parents of our students. I also see the grit and resilience. I got to meet one of our seniors the other day, and I see his grit and resilience in Giovanni Preston, who fought tooth and nail to be at his graduation today as he deals, as he deals with a serious illness. That's, that's the resiliency and grit of a Hayesman. Earlier this year, we at Hayes were witness to the resilience, grit, and compassion that Patrick Hayes himself displayed. We were blessed when Cardinal Dolan recognized our need for compassion and a hand to get back on our feet. He sent us the son of immigrants from the inner city, educated in the New York Catholic schools, and committing to giving back and leading a ministry to the people of the inner city of the Bronx, New York. In our moment of need, we were blessed to have Bishop Espiat come celebrate a mass of healing, which has produced nothing short of a miracle for one of our young Hayesmen who was gravely injured at the time. It was exactly the hand we needed to get back up and march toward graduation, and march you did, and here you are. Today is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Please welcome His Excellency, Most Reverend Joseph Espiat. It's on? Yep, check. Yep. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Carey. Thank you, Mr. Lassa. I apologize because Father Gonzalez never sent me the memo that we weren't supposed to wear sneakers today. So it, it's his fault. But Hayes, man, um, my, my bad. I'm missing something still. I'm sorry. Hold up a second. I want to know if I could do this because I need to change my hat. You know what I'm saying? So just in case, can I wear this? Yeah. yeah? So thank you guys, because the last time I was at the school, I said I wanted the bucket hat, right? And I see some of the older guys here, they have the bucket hat going as well. And so in my remarks to you, my brothers, um, congratulations, really congratulations. All the best to you. And, and I wish you nothing but the best, and I'm going to continue to pray for you as the Episcopal Vicar of the Bronx. Um, really, uh, it is a, a true honor and a true privilege uh, to be able to be here with you this day. By the way, this is my first graduation as a bishop, right? And, and what better way, what better way than to do it uh, with Cardinal Hayes? My brothers, last year I was, I don't get to watch too much television, but last year I was able to see uh, one of the Disney series. Some of you maybe have seen it already, and it's called WandaVision. And if you've ever seen WandaVision, you know, any Marvel fans in the house? Do we have any Marvel fans? We got some, all right? There's a scene between Wanda and Vision. And it's towards the end. And Vision says this to Wanda. She's really, really sad about what's going on in the situation. And, and he says this. He says, but what is grief if not love persevering? But what is grief if not love persevering? And if there's something that we've known this year Brothers, it's a lot of grief. We've seen a lot. We've been through a lot. And we're still going to go through more. Amen? And I, I want to propose that definitely love is persevering. Through the midst of COVID and all the anxiety it's created, through the midst of increase in violence, 
the war, increase in drugs, mental health issues, love still perseveres. Love will change the day. And we need to hold on to that. If there's something that, that Mr. Lessa and Mr. Carey and all of your teachers and your family, most especially, who have sacrificed for you to come to four years of high school here, it's to teach you love. The love of your parents to pay for tuition. The love of your parents for you to come to school. The love of your teachers to teach you each and every single day what is most important. And so I want to leave you with this quote. As I was praying last night, I was saying, Lord, what can I say? What, what will impact them? What will they take away from this? And I want to leave you with probably one of the most famous quotes that we have from one of the great prophets, the prophet Micah. And I think this is a good way for us to remember as we graduate today what we are called to do as Hayes men. Amen? And the quote is this, Micah chapter 6, verse 8. And it is, you have been told, O man, what is good and what the Lord requires of you. You have been told, O men, you've been told what is good and what the Lord is going to require of you. Do the right, love goodness, and walk humbly with your God. Amen? Amen? Brothers, that's what I want you to remember as we leave the cathedral today. Do the right. Always choose good. Always do what is right. Love goodness. You've all seen what's happening out there right now. We've spoken about this. I don't need to go through it. And last but not least, always remember to walk humbly with your God. Faith is critical. I read recently from a book by the famous author Matthew Kelly. Some of you may be familiar with him, famous Catholic author. And he said this, we can survive, he says this, we can survive without prayer, but we cannot thrive without it. We can survive without prayer, but we cannot thrive without it. And so the question is this, are you thriving or are you just surviving? I need you to remember that as we go. I need you to remember that as you are receiving your diplomas today and your pins and your awards, which you definitely deserve. But never forget who you are and whose you are. Amen. The following the students, having satisfactorily completed their course of study, according to the academic standards and, requir and requirements established by the New York State Board of Regents and by Cardinal Hayes High School, are hereby granted a diploma. So that the names of each student may be heard, we would ask that you please hold your applause until all the names of the graduates have been read. Brian Abreu Acosta. Christopher Aboud, Elliot Julian Acosta, Justin Adames, Jeremiah Adu Genfi, Gabriel Ogburubi Abeze, Benjamin Oluwafemi Ajao. Brian Anthony Alonzo. Thank you. 
John Lewis Arce. Aaron Andre Argueta. Jorlin Arias. Bernard Arthur. DeAndre Austin. Tobechuku Emmanuel Awaka. Alistair Ni Oman Badu. Bo McLeod Baldwin. Devon Marcus Banks. Everardo Basurto. Terrell Beelan Jr. Therese Charles Bisset. Vijay Rajkumar Boop Singh. Kelvin Agyeman Benet. Pierre Blanco. Mohamed Boya. Jamari Branch. Blake Anthony James Buchanan. Jalen Ramir Buchanan. Charlie Cabrera. Brian Calderon. David Calderon. Agustin Jose Camilo. Giovanni Casarubias. Jaden Castro. Josue Jesus Cepeda. Derek Christopher Colon. Kevin Colon. Christian Jalen Cook. Miguel Anthony Cordero. Nicholas Anthony Cotto. Mohamed Lamine Darbo. Christian Darby. Anderson De Leon Alba. Victor Anthony De Feliz. Shek Diacate. Brian Diaz. Yuba Jop. Jeremy Dominguez. Sebastian Dominguez. Sherman Cueta Ermiston the Fourth. Jaden Ellis. Justin Orlando Encarnacion. Reynaldo Encarnacion. Lavon Earl Everett the Third. Christian Timothy Fincher. Saquon Noel Fletcher. Isaiah Lewis Florentino. Ishak Jr. Fofana. Anthony Joseph Zephaniah Foster. Tariq Marquise Foster. 
Alexander David Francisco. Joel Fuentes Jr. Daniel Aviel Garfias. Malik Marcus Gale. Jason Enrique Gonzalez. Justin Greaves. Albert Manuel Griffin. Alan Jesus Guerrero. Dejani Malik Guthrie. Jared Harmon. Rainieri De Jesus Hierro. Nehemiah Terrell Hillard. Isaiah Amir Houston. Aramis Blue Irizari. Javier Jackson. Muhammad Jeta. Julius James. Chris Johnson Jr. K.L. Amir Johnson. Sincere Devon Lou Johnson. Tafari Johnson. Mamadou Osman Keita. Michael Kelly. John Cotto Jr. Jacob Samuel LeBoy. Sean Winston Lanier. Adam Cesar Lara. Rashawn Owen Lewis. Kelvin Michael Lopez. Brandon Lorenzo. Fabian Emmanuel Luna. Darius Lyman. Omali Mabui. Angel Miguel de Jesus Madera Santana. Fernando Madrid. Jacob Divine Maldonado. Michael Marte. Caleb Seth Marte. Joseph Martez. Christopher Jose Martinez. Jean Pierre Matamoros. Jalil McLeod. Yeah. Kai Angel McFarlane. Yeah. Jeremiah Alfredo Mena. Omari Chance Merritt. Edidiong Tyler Michael. Marcel Manaya, Zachary Mitchell, Eliza Isaiah Moa Jr., Nicholas Molina, Daniel Armando Montanero. Joshua Morales.
Andres David Moran. Omarion Dupree Morton. Steven Gego Mpeke. Joshua Damien Joseph Mulvey. Shaheem Patrick Noel. Carlos Emmanuel Nunez. Jaden Ordonez. Alexis Brian Ortiz. Roland S. A. Ovenseri Jr. Kevin Peguero. Jean Carlos Peña. Jasper Peña. Carlos Steven Perdomo. Alan Joel Perez Batista. Richard Perez the third. Jaden Marquise Peterson. Jalen Marcus Peterson. Christopher Josue Plaza. Marlon Joel Polanco. Jaden Amir Porter. Giovanni Kelvin Preston. Terrell Dante Reed. Donovan Richardson. Jaden Richardson. Javier Rivas. Giovanni Uziel Rivera Jr. Ethan Anthony Rodriguez. Yoldani Emmanuel Rodriguez. Mario Jeffrey Rodriguez. Daniel Daniel Rojas. Caesar Rex Roman. Michael David Rosario. Brandon Rizar. Noah Sanabia. David Jose Sanchez Peña. Kendrick Adrian Sanchez. Steven Sarmiento Navarro. Marquise Assad Skurlock. William Robert Scherer. Denzel Silver. Devin Suazo Almonte. Edwin Tapia Leon. Elias Paolo Tapia. Gavin J. Sean Taylor.
Christopher Jalen Thomas. Juan Gabriel Toribio Rondon. Joshua Lee Torres. Mamadou Junior Traore. David Orlando Vargas. Steven Ariel Vargas. Dianwell Velez. Wilmer Wilton Ventura Paulino. Eddie Vera Rodriguez. Jose Emanuel Veta Cruz. Durrell Victory. Yeah. Tristan Walters. Jaden Malachi Whitsett. Jaden James Williams. Jaden Victor Keith Williams. Jordan Antonio Williams. Tavon Nathaniel Williams. Kevin Wright Jr. Kevin Wright Mensa. Edwin Infante. At this time, I would like to introduce the senior members of the National Honor Society. These students were selected based on the four pillars of membership of the National Honor Society, scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Papaya Dankwa Afari. Jaden Aracena. Donovan Beauvoir. Henry Allen Bielen IV. Nihilus, Nihilus Jeremiah Burgess. John Alexander Burrosa Guamang. Jake Anthony Diaz. Elijah Terrell Mike. Kenneth Ocasio. Joshua Awadzi Okwaning. Ravi Patel. Franco Sorza Enriquez. And Xavier Taveras Garcia. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduating class of 2022.
We call your attention to the pages in the graduation program, which lists the scholarships and grants that have been garnered by our graduating seniors. The total amount approaches $5 million for the first year of study and can be extrapolated to reach $20 million for your four years of college study. This reflects only the scholarships and grants that have been reported to us by our seniors. Awards are presented to the following students who have attained outstanding achievement throughout their four years at Cardinal Hayes. The Father Sheehan Memorial Award for Religion is presented to Joshua Damien Joseph Mulvey. The Father Lachlan Memorial Award for English is presented to Tebechuku Emmanuel Awaka. The award for history is presented to Xavier Taveras Garcia. The award for mathematics is presented to Daniel Armando Montanero. The award for language is presented to Jaden Aracena. The award for science is presented to Ravi Patel. The Richard N. Sarcon Award for Government is presented to Malik Marcus Gale. The Terrence Mulvey Award for Criminal Justice is presented to Donovan Beauvoir. The award for art is presented to Sean Winston Lanier. The award for media is presented to Jean-Pierre Matamoros. The award for music is presented to Diane Will Velez. The Ralph Coffey Award for Economics is presented to Elijah Terrell Mike. The award for graphic design is presented to Nihilus Jeremiah Burgess. The award for athletics is presented to Henry Allen Bieland IV. The Bernard Gallagher Memorial Award, bestowed upon the outstanding student athlete of the graduating class on the basis of athletic ability and academic excellence, is presented to Tebechuku Emmanuel Awaka.
on behalf of the Cardinal Hayes Alumni Association, the Artie Guy Award bestowed upon the Hayes athlete who best exemplifies the spirit and tradition of Cardinal Hayes is presented to Donovan Bouvois. The Peter L. Waters Award, donated by the Alumni Society of Manhattan College, bestowed upon a student who has distinguished himself in scholarship, school citizenship, and student leadership, is presented to Javier Jackson. The Monsignor Victor S. Pavis Award for Perseverance and Commitment in Athletics is presented to the following students. Jorlin Arias. Justin Orlando Encarnacion. Tariq Marquise Foster. Eddie Vera Rodriguez. Caesar Rex Roman and Tavon Nathaniel Williams. The New York City Comptroller's Award for Outstanding Achievement is presented to Daniel Javier Garfias and Daniel Armando Montanero. An award is presented to the following senior who has a record of perfect attendance throughout their four years at Cardinal Hayes High School. Jason Enrique Gonzalez. Raniri De Jesus Hierro. And Steven Gego Mpeke. The President's Award for Community Service is presented to the following students. Papaya Dankwa Afari. Jaden Aracena. Tobechuku Emmanuel Awaka. Henry Allen Bielen IV. Yuba Jup, Sherman Cueta Edmiston the Fourth. Dejani Guthrie. Isaiah Amir Houston. Javier Jackson. Julius James, Zachary Mitchell, Nicholas Molina, Joshua Damien, Joseph Mulvey, Christopher Josue Plaza, Devin Suazo Almonte. Mamadou Junior Traore. And Jaden Victor Keith Williams. The Principal's Award for Outstanding Service is presented to the following students. Donovan Bouvois. Nihilus Jeremiah Burgess. Brian Calderon. Jake Anthony Diaz. Tariq Marquise Foster.
Nehemiah Terrell Hillard. Angel Miguel de Jesus Madera Santana. Elijah Terrell Mike. Steven Gego Mpeke. Joshua Awadzi Okwaning. Franco Sorza Enriquez. Xavier Tavares Garcia. Deanne Will Velez. And Tavon Nathaniel Williams. The New York State Comptroller's Achievement Award is presented to Nihilus Jeremiah Burgess and Ravi Patel. The National Catholic Band Association Concert Band Award is presented to Jaden Richardson. The Principal's Award for Academic Excellence is presented to John Lewis Arce, Aaron Andre Argueta, Kevin Aguiman Benet, Pierre Blanco, Derek Christopher Colon, Kevin Colon, Jake Anthony Diaz, Isaiah Luis Florentino, Jacob Divine Maldonado, Jeremiah Alfredo Mena, Nicholas Molina, Kenneth Ocasio, Elias Paolo Tapia, Joshua Lee Torres, David Orlando Vargas, and Stephen Ariel Vargas. The National Honor Society Certificate of Merit is presented to Jaden Aracena. The Student Council Award is presented to Joshua Damien Joseph Mulvey. The Student Advisory Committee Award for Outstanding Service is presented to Angel Miguel de Jesus Madera Santana. The John Liebert Scholarship is presented to Nihilus Jeremiah Burgess. The New York State Attorney General's Award for Character Courage and Community Concern is presented to Giovanni Kelvin Preston and Dijani Malik Guthrie. The National Catholic Band Association Award is presented to Dianwell Velez. The Cardinal Hayes High School William M. Ryan Award for Musical Excellence is presented to Ethan Edward Montilla. The Musicianship Award is presented to Miguel Angel Cordero. The John Cardinal O'Connor Memorial Award is presented to Angel Miguel de Jesus Madera Santana.
the New York State 2022 Series Scholarship for Academics Excellence is a presented to Papayo Dankwa Afari, Jaden Adesena, Elijah Terrell Mike, Joshua Awadze Okwaning, Ravi Patel, and Xavier Tavares Garcia. The awards for the top 10 averages for the class of 2022. At number 10, with an average of 97.0070, Papaya Dankwa Afari. At number 9, with an average of 97.3349, Franco Sorza Enriquez. At number eight, with an average of 97.8, John Burrosa Guaman. At number seven, with an average of 98.0386, Daniel Armando Montanero. At number six, with an average of 98.7517, Jaden Aracena. At number five, with an average of 99.5672, Nihilus Jeremiah Burgess. At number four, with an average of 100.1879, Ravi Patel. At number three, with an average of 100.2192, Tobechuku Emmanuel Awaka. At number two, with an average of 100.6259, Joshua Awadze Okwaning. And at number one, with an average of 103.7164, Xavier Tavares Garcia. The salutatorian for the class of 2022 is awarded to Joshua Awadze Okwaning. The valedictorian of the class of 2022 is awarded to Xavier Tavares Garcia. At this time, here to introduce the 2022 valedictorian is our English teacher, Mr. Daniel McCarthy. The man I'm about to introduce to you finished his high school career with a 103.72 average across all his classes at Cardinal Hayes. In the fall, he's headed to the Ivy League at Columbia University. But those achievements, well impressive,
don't tell the whole story of who Xavier is. This year I had the pleasure of teaching Xavier in my AP English literature class. Anyone who shared a classroom with Xavier knows that he likes to ask questions. And more often than not, those questions begin with the word, why? He's never satisfied with knowing what the correct answer to a question is, but why that answer is correct. I know that Xavier's classmates and teachers have benefited from his inquisitive spirit. Always his questions challenge us to dig deeper in our search for the truth. For the benefit of all those who Xavier encounters in his future endeavors, I hope he never stops asking the question, why? And so it's with great pleasure that I introduce to you your valedictorian, Xavier Tavares Garcia. Before I begin, I would like to give my thanks to Dr. Carey, Mr. Lessa, Ms. Lynch, parents, friends, family, and all the administrative staff for attending today's ceremony for the 2022 graduating class. I would also like to give a special thanks to the following educators. Mr. Morgan, who gave me the first push toward the person I am academically today. Mr. Gamarez, who gave me the opportunity to reach this podium that stands in front of me now. Mr. Sarcone, who showed me the difference between a teacher and an educator providing me with the first glimpse of a college-level class. Brother Chuli, who taught me chemistry in a way I'm sure that no other could have. Dr. Vasquez, who, though I never had him as a teacher, showed his kindness by helping me, just another Hayes student, finish his high school career off in the best way he could imagine. And whether he's here today in this cathedral with us or not, Mr. Scala, who sparked the fire within me for biology and neuroscience in which I plan on majoring in college. I would also like to thank every one of my peers that are in this cathedral today, as well as the parents that got me here with all of you. When I first planned on attending Hayes, the only thing I thought would matter were my grades. I remember when Mr. Gamarz first asked me what made me stand out and why I thought I would succeed. I offered a promise to him that I would never let my grades fall below a 90. I thought that's what he wanted to hear. His response was the opposite of what I was expecting. He told me that the grades did not matter. He then asked me to tell him three characteristics about myself. And my dad had to be the one to answer. I was dedicated and hardworking, but even if I did not stick to those standards in the way that my father expected, those characteristics were now my identity and one that I planned on sticking to because those were the qualities that I wanted for myself. Much like my mindset during this interview though, I thought I would be alone in any struggles that my classmates and I were bound to face. I thought that everyone would take on their challenges on their own. But I'm grateful to be in this cathedral today with all of you who did not allow that to happen. We faced our challenges together. In the beginning, just four years ago, we were all just freshmen, surrounded by mostly strangers, and being reminded constantly that high school would fly by, and so we should enjoy it. Eventually, 
we learn to come together to propel beyond any and all of our obstacles. Assignment after assignment, we found ourselves struggling, but we did so together. That struggle became a part of our identity, but we owned it because it brought us together. Our willingness to help one another for the sake of both personal growth and that of our peers gave us the ability to thrive. There were a lot of moments and laughs that are now just memories. Still, today marks the day that we go on to make new memories in college, where we will take any lessons that we may have learned in high school and the rest of our lives and use them to succeed in college. In the past, we became accustomed to an atmosphere of silence. And this year, we were thrown back into what COVID made a foreign environment. But look at us now. We survived it regardless. We all had our struggles, and we now have experienced both normal school days and those school days where our lunch period was whenever we decided to walk into the kitchen to get some food. Some of us enjoyed this time period more than others, but regardless, we experienced it all after expecting, and some of us hoping for one two-week break, the one two-week break that only continued to grow. The school that never closes became the school to which we couldn't return. However, I want to remind all of us here today how we survived and just how strong and resilient that fact really makes us. When we came back, we did so eager to see all of our friends. And today, I want us to use that same excitement to celebrate. Celebrate after the pandemic and all the moments that we had together. We stand here firm and strong as members of the Hayes community, as family, and as brothers. If we ever face any challenges in the future, I want us to remember the togetherness that we each propose to others as a part of our identities. Because in our identities, we find the most steadfastness and resolution for lack of change. This is a part of us that we should not try to adjust in any way. Our successes are a part of us. And now, together, we may carry those successes into our futures. I could stand here and tell all of you that this is the end, but it's not. We're just now getting started. But after everything that we have already faced, I think we have proven to ourselves that we are ready. After witnessing situations like the increasing gun violence in America, civil unrest, impeachments, and even the mayor of Colorado City, Texas quitting after one snowstorm, there is nothing that our generation and even just our class cannot face. Our situation, even alongside ones like COVID, has been unique. And so I want to remind you that we all stand here as the result of all those moments of self-doubt. All those moments where we may have looked at ourselves and wondered if those challenges we faced would really be worth it. And if you ever thought that they wouldn't be, I'm here to tell you to check again. Of all the English classes that I've taken, I still don't think that I'm capable of expressing the amount of faith that I have in this class that stands before me. Even though I'm the one that's at this podium right now, I know that I could not be here without any and all of you. As one of my now favorite quotes by James Clear reads, being motivated and curious counted for more than being smart because it leads to action. I tell you that I have faith in this class because I know that after all four years here at Hayes, we have shown to everyone, our families, our teachers, 
and anyone who doubted us that we were at the very least motivated and smart enough to stand here today. For this reason, the day that we graduate from Cardinal Hayes High School is a success for us all. It is an end, but it's constructed to mark a beginning. On my way to St. Patrick's Cathedral, a man spoke to me. Seeing me in my Hayes cardigan, he told me about our potential, about how his son went to Hayes and is now successful with a house and children. So, in the words of this random man from the train, for probably the first time in our time as Cardinal Hayes alumni and our last time as seniors of Cardinal Hayes High School, I say, up Hayes. On behalf of the faculty and the administration, I'd like to thank Xavier for honoring us with his valediction to his classmates and teachers. His words reveal both his extraordinary character and the lasting significance that Cardinal Hayes has had for its students for over 80 years. So I'm going to bless the pins now that we're going to use to distribute to our distinguished alumni. Good and gracious God, we thank you for these brothers who have come back. We pray especially for those that have already gone before us, but we continue to pray for our brothers who continue to promote your kingdom. And we ask you to bless these pins and all those that use them and wear them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. At this time, we invite our 70th year anniversary alumni to the altar to receive their anniversary pins. At this time, we invite the 60th year anniversary alumni to the altar to receive their anniversary pins. At this time, we invite the 50th year anniversary alumni to the altar to receive their anniversary pins.
At this time, we invite the 25th year anniversary alumni to the altar to receive their anniversary pins. Additionally, we would like to acknowledge the presence of members of the 45th, 40th, 30th, and 20th anniversary classes who are here with us today. I ask them to take a moment to please stand before us this morning. It is with great pleasure that we welcome the principal of Cardinal Hayes, Mr. William D. Lessa, who will address the graduates at this time. Good morning. I would like to thank His Excellency, the Most Reverend Joseph Espiat, Auxiliary Bishop of New York, for presiding at today's commencement ceremony. It's truly fitting that the first Bishop of the Bronx presides at the commencement of the first Archdiocesan High School in the Bronx. I thank our president, Dr. Michael Carey, our dedicated administration, our incredible faculty, and our hardworking staff for making this graduation a memorable event for the class of 2022. I would also like to recognize our Platinum Anniversary Class of 1952, our Diamond Anniversary Class of 1962, our Golden Anniversary Class of 1972, and our Silver Anniversary Class of 1997, our parents, guardians, families, and friends. I want to thank our Cardinal Hayes High School Board Chairman, Mr. Eugene Harris, Class of 1969, and the entire Board of Trustees, and the Cardinal and Gold Board Chairman, Mr. John Duffy, class of 1967, for their strong support of the educational mission of our great school. As principal, I have the honor of offering some final remarks to the graduating class of 2022, a responsibility that I take most seriously. Men of the class of 2022, you are indeed a special class. You are the first class in the last three years to graduate in the majestic setting of St. Patrick's Cathedral. Your brothers in the class of 2020 were confronted with a virtual graduation. And last year, the class of 2021 faced many factors that limited the scope of their graduation. Today, we're able to rejoice and celebrate your graduation unencumbered by protocols and regulations. That alone is something to celebrate. I cannot express how proud I am of the class of 2022. Your final year at Cardinal Hayes High School brings to mind the story of Job from the Old Testament. As many of you know, Job was a pious and devout man who, tested, who was tested by a series of undeserved sufferings which God allowed Satan to test him. As I look back over the four years at Cardinal Hayes High School, I cannot help but wonder if you as a class were tested like Job. Your high school career began in September of 2018 with the youthful and joyful enthusiasm of thousands of young men who came before you. The next year, your sophomore year began much the same as Hazeman have done for generations. But in March of 2020, an uninvited intruder entered your lives and unalterably changed the trajectory of the next 30 months. That intruder was COVID-19. It stripped away the very essence of high school life. Like Job, you watched as your lives were disrupted. Your days were shadowed by the stark reality of the death and illness of so many people in your lives. You faced remote learning, at best a necessary evil, 
and certainly no substitute for the true nature of the high school experience. You endured social distancing, face masks, temperature checks, vaccinations, and a sense of not being in control of your daily existence. In junior year, you experienced the phenomenon known as hybrid learning, which tested your flexibility to juggle the challenges of remote and on-site learning. In senior year, you rejoiced in the return to a more stable on-site learning environment, only to face the grim reality of the Delta and Omicron variants. Like Job of old, you wondered when the trials of the class of 2022 would end. Hazeman have a long and storied tradition of strength and resilience, but your strength and resilience were tested further. In 2020, you faced a national cataclysm of social unrest that radically changed our consciousness of racial equality, diversity, and inclusion. By the end of 2021, you faced a world ripped asunder by a horrific war in Europe, something that Hazeman had not seen for generations. That war has had multiple ripple effects on your everyday lives, but also has pushed the world towards the brink of catastrophe. Misfortune also touched your Hayes family. In December of 2021, we lost our beloved assistant principal, Mr. Terrence Mulvey, a man who indelibly aspired so many of us. Later, the reality of the dangerous world we inhabit was brought home once more with a thunderous jolt that struck one of your younger brother students who was seriously injured and almost lost his life. The final test came when our brother in the class of 2022, Giovanni, was stricken with a serious illness that almost never affects young men of his age and which thankfully he is gallantly battling in the manner we expect from a Hazeman and by the grace of God is here with us today. Despite all these trials, you've remained men of faith. Your great faith in God has sustained you as it did Job. Strength of character is a hallmark of Hazeman, and you need look no further than the alumni classes with us today to see the examples of perseverance, pertinacity, and dedication. You are the new hope for the world. Seated in the class of 2022 will be the scientists who enable us to conquer pandemics, the social activists who will bring tranquility to our country, and the diplomats who will work to restore world order. This is what Cardinal Hayes has done for generations, prepare men to be leaders who will make the world a better place. Remember always that the book of Job ends with Job having all his possessions returned to him a hundredfold because of his faith in God. There is another image I wish to share with you this morning. It comes from one of our leading American poets of the 19th century, Emily Dickinson. She wrote, Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without words and never stops at all. Where does your hope come from? Answer, in the proud eyes of your family seated behind you, you can't wait, who can't wait to see you receive your diploma. And where else? In the friendships of your classmates, some of which will last a lifetime. In the memory of a teacher who inspired you. In a glorious moment on the basketball court or baseball field. Or in the pages of a book that spoke to you. Or that rift in a band concert when all the music came together. May the hope you carry away from Hayes never leave your shoulders. As men of Hayes, you must have a deep and abiding faith in God. You've been given the tools to be leaders and never followers. Develop a vision for life and a plan to implement that vision. Never be satisfied with the status quo. Find the life's compass in your faith in God and focus on serving the people of God. Remember always that you are indeed children of God. Be men of courage, be Hayesmen, and I am sure that like your Hayes brothers who came before you, you will triumph over any adversity. 
Remember the words of St. Paul, be men of courage, be strong. I ask God's blessing on the class of 2022 and your families and all the graduates of our esteemed institution. I also ask your prayers for the speedy and complete recovery of our brother Giovanni and for the continued strength of his marvelous family. A pays and And now we would ask His Excellency, the Most Reverend Joseph Espiat, to bring our ceremony to a conclusion with a prayer and a blessing. I'm going to ask the school chaplain, Father Gonzalez, to lead us in this prayer, and I will then impart the final blessing. Let us stand. Gracious and loving God, we ask now for your almighty hand to be upon our graduates as they and their families celebrate this grand milestone. May they find comfort from this community's continued embrace and support as they journey through life. May they find strength in the excellence of their academic preparation bless their lives from this day on with goodness and success. Enable them to stay true to their dreams, always for your glory, to discern what is right, good, and just, and to use their gifts wisely and in the service to others. Empower them to walk into the future with faith, hope, and great love guided by your light and your spirit, so that they may use their talents for God and country. Amen. Amen. And one last final time, class of 2022, let us pray those words that our Savior taught us. And so we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. As our faculty processes out of the cathedral, we would ask all in attendance to kindly join the leader of song and our graduates, as well as the members of the anniversary classes in our recessional hymn, Rise Up, O Men of Hayes. <laughs>